Yeah, I want to say actually I'm taking uh, three types of vitamin C, and sometimes I even take these kind because they're easy to take. These are ester C, which is a calcium absorbate, and I've been taking a lot of vitamin C, probably not always taking liposomal because it's a pain to make, but I always take the oral vitamin C. Um, this is easy to take. It's calcium absorbate. That's the kind where you got to kind of watch where uh, if you take too much of it, you can have too much calcium, but I might take several of those a day. But I mainly take this one, which is just exorbic acid, which is a sustained time release, or this one, which is a chewable exorbic acid, which is sustained time release. But then I'll take other things that work with it, and these aren't the only things I take with it, but probably the most important thing I take with it is NAC, N-acetylcysteine, which is a very uh, good protein, but it can actually help the vitamin C stay, your vitamin C levels in the blood stay up higher when you're taking vitamin C with this. Also L-glutathione, another thing that works with vitamin C, and also selenium, and sometimes alpha lipoic acid, which I have over here. I don't know if I have it over here, I have it over here. And yeah, right here, this is a pretty powerful one actually, uh, 600 milligrams. But um, I'm a big time believer in this right now because, um, well, like ester C, which is actually calcium absorbate, this one is uh, sodium absorbate, this one is absorbic acid. Both this one, the middle one, which is uh, sodium absorbate, I even though it's a chewable, it's buffered, it, it's not going to have uh, too much difference in the pH of your body. You're not, it's not going to. Like if you put it on uh, something that was just an open wound or something, it wouldn't skin, sting. Now, exorbic acid, yes, it would. Um, you know, that's one of the things a lot of people say because when something's more acidic, it's not good or something. And the other thing is that, uh, here's Putin the cat, hi. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You sniffing? He's always, he, he likes to help me with everything. This guy, he's my buddy. He helps me with everything. He comes over here and he says, Hi, what are you doing? I want to stick my nose in there and what the hell. But anyway, um, the uh, this has two electron donors, exorbic acid, plain exorb, uh, exorbic acid has two electron donors per molecule. That's the difference. Um, it's more acidic, but then again, it does not mean it has an acid acidifying effect on a body overall actually it has the opposite effect I don't know the chemical reactions that are involved but it, that does not mean a food that has a pH or anything thing that you put in your body that has a certain pH does not necessarily mean that the net effect on the body is the pH of the thing you put in your the food that you put in your body a good example is a lemon very acidic pH by the food itself it had, it's probably the most alkalizing food net effect on a body in existence. Watermelon is another good one, too. A lot of people don't realize that one. Watermelon is actually freaking really good for you, man. Believe it or not, you should get some of that stuff. This one has sodium exorbate. That is a buffered type. It has one electron donor per, um, uh, what do you call it, one per molecule. And you could take, this is a good one to take lots of because it's not going to upset your stomach. The only thing you can have is the bowel intolerance because your body can't um, absorb that much vitamin C. But you're not going to have a problem with acid. You're not going to have a problem with that. This one, calcium absorbate, is actually very good if you don't take a lot of it. But I'm taking a lot of it. So I take a few of these a day. But if you're just going to take one or two thousand uh, milligrams, you know, that would be fine too. That's that's another buffer type and it contains types of some type of calcium. But like again, I don't take just that. You know, I'll take, you know, Nature's Way Alive, you know, something like that. And uh, you know, also uh, you know, cod liver oil which has vitamin A and D and also the real vitamin E and also, this is the real vitamin D, and that's a high dosage. Actually, that's a very high dosage. And 
they'll take separate vitamins like B12, which is, that's a high dosage too. So, I still continuing on with the uh, vitamin C regimen. And I like it, to tell you the truth, because uh, you can take a lot of different herbs and they can get expensive. But basically what they're doing is they're working as electron donors. And it's only, this, this one, sustained release absorbic acid, that one has two electron donors, donors per um, molecule. And there's nothing else that's an antioxidant that has that many. So it's like, you know, I know some sometimes they don't like make vitamin C to be that powerful, but it is. It actually is. And bang for the buck, you get the most. You get, you're actually getting the best bang for the buck in an antioxidant with vitamin C. But like I said, if you're taking a real, real lot of it, you don't want to take this kind, ester C or calcium absorbate. You could take maybe a couple of these a day. That's actually a lot. These are 1,000 uh, milligram doses. But you don't want to be taking 10 or 20 of these a day. Uh, but, I, well, I know like a lot of people debate taking 10 or 20, but I'm taking about 20,000 milligrams a day. But mainly this type and this type and a little bit of that type too. But I figured there might be a difference between the way they're absorbed and, you know, I take these other things with them to help to sustain the levels in the body as long as possible so I think it's some pretty cool stuff and um, the more I've read about it I've read other books on it orthomolecular medicine and other fact sheets not just from the internet but actually from doctors who wrote books about these subjects not just Linus Bowling not just Dr. Cathcart not just Dr. Levy but even other doctors that I've wrote anyway so battery's getting exhausted on this phone here but anyway the uh, the I ordered some books from the doctors and various doctors, not just Levy, Cathcart, and Pauling, but other doctors, and I'm getting the same type of message in different ways. Vitamin C is one of the best damn things you can take, and it's probably good to take a lot of it. And they'll probably figure this out 100 years from now, but I'm not going to wait. So that's what I'm doing now.